Can I can I put this as a song? What song? Like you can have it as like the intro. Yeah, but not playing it off your phone. You know what I'm saying? Oh, let's get this over and done. With <laughs> the quicker the better for me, bro. And cut. This is my Bismillah, it's Mr. Islah. You are listening or watching the Director's Cut podcast on the CS Network where we talk all things ethnic within the entertainment industry. I almost forgot that intro because it's been a long time. It's been a hot minute, man. I've, I've been waiting on. for your podcast. Bro, man. Get that hold on, I've been waiting for you, but listen, every guest <laughs> gets a special intro. So you ready? Oh yeah. Oh my days. I've been excited for this <laughs> so much, man. I've seen it on all the other ones. Yeah. So I, I want to know what ready. mine is. Are you ready? Yeah. 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 Hit all me. Right. In a world where Bangladeshi parents would tell their kids to get a proper job. <laughs> One man had no idea what that even meant. He is what the bloody Smash Bungali. <laughs> <laughs> bro, pow, pow, pow. thank you so much. Sorry. Marvel intro, bro. Because since you, you, just so came, much, just, you just came from the Black Widow premiere. Literally. Big up. Literally. I'm absolutely knackered, but I actually really, really just wanted to celebrate with you today, bro. Come because genuinely, man. like, uh, you have been someone that has just, like, supported me from very hey, early. We'll get to that. We'll get and, to uh, that. We'll get no, to man. That. It's just great to be here, man. We'll get to that. Right, listen, here. so the way I start this pod, yeah, um, is I ask three random questions. Yes. Yeah, catered to the person that I'm talking to. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna copy you and take my headphones off. Cause this actually does make me hot. So let's it makes see. your ears red. Look how yeah, red makes... your ears are now, bro. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm rude off the red ear. <laughs> red, red <laughs> nose. Bengali. Red, red. <laughs> <laughs> rude off the red. Ear. All right. So your, your first question. Your first Go question on. is hit me. If you could do one YouTube video in Bangladesh, mm. what would it be and why? Because we all know you do your crazy YouTube videos, yeah? Mm, 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 if you had mm, one mm, video you could mm, do it in Bangladesh, imagine you had 24 hours to do it and fly back, what would you do? I would I would want to uh, film a video with uh, Sheikh Hasina, <laughs> where basically uh, we trade uh, jobs for a day. What would you add? That would so be you, my dream. That would be my that dream. That would be your YouTube yeah, video. Yeah, I would want to be Prime Minister for one day and for her to be a YouTuber for one day and see how that goes down. So wait, you'd make a video? Yeah, man. Switching She's roles, my mama, bro. We got some Freaky Friday thing, yeah? Yeah, bro. I want to <laughs> do that, man. With Sheikh Hasina. Like, Freaky Friday with Sheikh Hasina. Why bro, does that, that sound that sounds so wrong? On so many bro, different levels. This podcast but... just got x rayed <laughs> all of a sudden. All right. Which celebrity mm. would you love to do a prank call on? Ooh, Onish pranks. He's my inspiration, bro. You Imagine... prank Onish pranks? Yeah, I'd want to pro- a prank Onish pranks and then see how he reacts to it. Do you know what I mean? But try and get him in a way where he doesn't see it coming. If I can pull off a prank on Onage pranks, yeah. that's like a dream come true. He's like the OG for me, man. man like I a thought, tumble You I thought you were going to bloody like pick someone like a proper celebrity. Like nah, man. You know what it is like for me? Because like, um, you do them on YouTube. You, I look at the type of... Like, for example, you asked me to create a piece of content. Yeah, yeah. Like for me, it's not about getting like the biggest celebrity or what 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 kind of art can i create that is gonna make that the best possible so what better way to get the best prankster you know what i mean I, that's how i try to think about Prank, it prankster i like that, I like that. yeah man uh, your final question everyone gets this question on the podcast oh yeah. if you could be any character mm. in a movie or a tv series mm. and live in that reality mm. who would it be and why Goku, bruv. <laughs> Goku, bruv. Straight up flying around. Man wants to be saying? a cartoon. I just, just literally got a wife that just madly in love with me. Just feeds me all the time. Like, you, you know, bare noodles and that. The hair, got bruv. Kids, How do you handle the hair? Got Look kids at, that bruv, can... I can, I can barely handle this, yeah. <laughs> Goku's like... <laughs> we got a picture of you long hair. Oh, uh, man. If I can find this picture... What's the maddest? Facebook. What's the maddest hairstyle you ever had? I'm gonna show you right now, bro. Literally. Maddest hairstyle I've ever had was uh, a Mohican. Mohican? Yeah, I know there's gonna get bare comments. No now, way. But I had a Mohican, yeah, like that. And Luffy had like it went down there. But you know what's so jarring when you have what? a Mohican, right? Because when you lean back in the cinema to enjoy the film, you get back up and your Mohican's gone flat. Oh my days. Are you ready for this picture? Hit me. Boom. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. I don't even know if I can zoom into this, but if I Don't worry, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna send it you. You can put it on the screen. Fl- this is gonna be on the screen right now. This how old are you here? Uh 17. I thought I was oh Super my Saiyan. Good, bro. You know what? I just wanted to be Super Saiyan, man. I just bro, went through a phase it where doesn't I doesn't even like, loved anime and just wanted to be Super Saiyan. It doesn't even look like you're 17. It actually looks like you're just playing one of them characters <laughs> on your YouTube videos. <laughs> 
for days. Bro. Used to be very expensive, man. Like, literally, a whole tub of gel used to just go in one day. Yeah, I used to Fast go phone, to that, bro. I used to go to Sainsbury's and I'd get like, gel and try to do like a quiff and all that. Bro, hair is Now, long you had good hair, too. bro. Can't lie, bro. Allah, Alhamdulillah. Allah, Allah, Allah. My brother is so, mashallah, beautiful, man. Come thank on. you, bro. Thank Come you, bro. All right, bro. Let's start off. Let's wind it back here. Yeah? Let's start off from how we met. Because you're going mm. to you're gonna have to help me on this. I do remember. Let me, let Everyone me, meets let online, me tell right? you my first point of contact for you. Okay. All, all right. right. So um, I think I had uh, maybe three YouTube videos out. Yeah. And then I emailed saying uh, like I'm a new creator. You emailed me? Yeah, I emailed you. And then like a manager got back to me. And then he was like, uh, you know, um, we're going to keep an eye on you and stuff like that. I'm trying to think who that was. Because I had, I don't I've know had who you had managers. as managed. I've had I, shit managers I don't know who you had as management at that time, but it was like it wasn't like a like a a, a bad. Like it was a great response. I was happy that someone got back to me because I was emailing a lot of people. They weren't even getting back to me. Yeah, yeah, Obviously, yeah. it's just three YouTube videos, bro. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Like yeah, as yeah. well. Like I don't rate that personally. I feel like you need to put in a lot of Ooh, grind sometimes. I remember. Um, I rem wait, I remember. I remember. <laughs> my, it wasn't my manager. It was someone used to handle my emails with me, and then. Uh, I saw the email as well mm -hmm. because it used to come through on my phone. So then I, I remember clicking on your channel mm -hmm. and I saw oh, that's like, that guy's sick. He's going to go somewhere. Oh, I, love, I remember man. thinking that. Now it's actually hitting me. It's actually hitting me. But bro, I remember, I, don't, I can't. All right. So I was saying it. everyone meets in two different ways, right? You meet online. Yeah. And then you meet in person. Of sometimes, course. Sometimes when you meet online, you know someone for that long. It just yeah. feels like you've met anyway, innit? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember meeting you on like Instagram or whatever. And I mm -hmm. remember telling you, bruv, you're sick, you're funny, keep doing your thing. You're going to go places, uh, you know, keep repping it. Fair love, bro. I Come saw on, something I really appreciate you, that, man. I, saw, I remember seeing something in you and I was like, nah, this guy's got, he's got this charisma. He's got this flair that something about him. I don't know what it is, but you know, it's, it's going to be big, bruv. And I remember nah, going love, to, man. Uh, when did we That's actually just cocoa pops bro can't like that's cereal <laughs> man it just gives me a different energy in the morning when, and when you know did... when i drink water bro I, you know every morning i start my day with a song innit? yeah it's like start the day with a glass of water <laughs> starting the day with a glass of water <laughs> starting the day with a glass of you know what? i'm gonna have a mug of water man's... mug of what? water why what's all these sponsored products is bringing out like man's bringing this... out the viva <laughs> Wait, did we get sponsored by the no we didn't come on man no they should though they should though they should though. That's, we're that. giving a good plug for now we've bro. given them time before we didn't now for every more than every second we speak about viva you gotta pay up in it now someone out there is gonna like go to like <laughs> buy a viva now <laughs> anyway anyway so all right, when was when was when did we physically meet i can't remember um, I think, I think it was maybe one of the episode premieres. I think I came with my boy. Yes, I remember now. Okay, yeah. You and, came then, to the and then our first interaction was you asked uh, like the audience, uh, like their feedback questions and yeah. asked a question. Actually, that's our first interaction in person. What was your question? Do you remember? Um, I don't know. Something dumb, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so because everyone laughed and you laughed yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. So I can, I that all, that's all I remember. I remember seeing you, you yeah. with uh, a couple of people. Hey, I bought one of my uh, boys, yeah, uh, Riz yeah, one, yeah. who yeah, I was yeah, like yeah. Uh, making a lot of videos. And with. then we kept in touch. Then I got then you then I saw you on the set for the Corner Shop movie. Right? Corner Shop movie as well. Like uh, when I came to film for that, bro, that day I swear I missed my train. Right, uh, guys, I missed my train. Right, I had a train book to come. Then I'm like, damn. Now what do I do? I was like, screw it. I'm driving. This is the first <laughs> time I'm going on the motorway as well. Yeah, yeah. I was like, bro, it's bare scary, isn't it? Like, I'm not gonna time. like, bro. Even like, I've been driving for two years now. Yeah. Yeah. A, a lot of people think I've been driving for time because the older you get, if like people just assume you pass your test in it, bro, I still get shook driving the motorways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah I yeah, get yeah. shook. Now I'm calm on the motorway. Now like I go back mm. and front, uh, for, uh, back and forth. Sorry, I said back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> <and front. laughs> I remember seeing you at a uni event. And I remember mm. I just I just grabbed you. I think it was a UOB one. Yeah, one of them. That's what, UOB was yeah, literally it was like a UOB University event. of Birmingham, which is the university I went to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was basically when I performed uh, at one of the events, we needed a host. Yeah, yeah. And then we asked Ali and we asked Blitz. Uh, I don't think we asked you at that time, mm. um, but I wasn't asking the artist for host at that time. But then I was like, okay, cool. Like we want to try and give as much to charity. So like, let's. I'll just host for mm -hmm. free. Then that was the first time I ever performed live. Mm. And then it was great because the next year, that's 
when uh, they brought you in as host and then um, I was able to uh, do some stuff with yeah, you as well. Yeah, because I remember just dragging you off your table. And I was yeah, like, yeah, basically. This, this guy's sick. <laughs> this guy's going to make it. You guys Literally. need to follow him. No, nah, 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 I love nah, I remember man. that. It's, I mean, a, it's a difficult like uh, environment as well. You know, like those um, events because literally everyone's eating. Mm. So it's like, it's not like rolls. You get me? It's weird because it's like a wedding where everyone's eating and you're still it's trying It's just to... like, what is, like you, you basically eat and then it's like a disco at the end. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, like, it's calm, man. It's like, it, nah, it but, was good. It was yeah, it was good. great events. So, YouTube. Mm -hmm. like, what made you mm. get up one day and think, boom, I want to go on YouTube? Mm. Yeah. As a Bengali person, right? And we know, let's just address the elephant in the room, yeah? It is not easy for someone, oh, for someone of our ethnic background uh, to, yeah. <laughs> to succeed. <laughs> just normal stuff. Yeah, like, to succeed in yeah. um, stuff like YouTube, right? Yeah, so, yeah, what yeah. made you get up and think, like, rah, boom? I want to do YouTube. Um, so I thought about this really deeply, like over the past, because I've been doing stuff for like since 2017. So it's coming up to keep four talking, years keep now. talking. I'm just gonna fix it. Calm. Um, but yeah, I, I came like uh, onto the scene like in 2017, pretty much. Then I was like thinking for all these four years, I've, I've been like, what really like kicked it off? And what I realized was it was a trip to Bangladesh. It was actually oh, a trip to went. Bangladesh. Yeah, okay, so yeah. I went to Bangladesh when I was 11 years old. So this is like year seven. And uh, basically my Nana passed away. And in Nali, in Nali, right? I appreciate well, that, bro. Inshallah, may he be granted Jannah. I mean. But yeah, so um, he basically like uh, passed away and my mom was his favorite. Mm. So we went to Bangladesh because my mom wanted to mourn and um, it really affected her a lot. So uh, we ended up staying for 13 months. Mm. And um, my mom kind of actually went into like depression as a result of it. And this is something that, you know, like I've been meaning to like speak to the community about mm. because, you know, a lot of Bengali like women, they do go through depression and stuff like that. But I just didn't know like where or how to talk about it. But bro, like gen genuinely, you've been such a supporter of my journey. I feel like this is a, a like a, a comfortable space. Like you've made me feel so comfortable, man. Like the way you like always just treat me like a brother. Come on, man. And, you um, are, bro. Yeah, yeah so basically like uh she went into uh depression and then i ended up staying in bangladesh thank you windows yeah that's cool um yeah basically uh uh when i was in bangladesh there's only one tv channel yeah. and it only runs for a set number of hours per day yeah. so i had a deficit in entertainment because i left the uk and i was like watching sky i'm playing my game boy you know like, i'm buying new games this that how old were you at this time 11. 11. And uh, when I was 11, um, at this point, like imagine I've completed every game on my Game Boy multiple times, literally completed like Pokemon Gold, like bro, at Come least on. Hey, bro. six, seven times. On a, on a side note, yeah, I've completed every single Pokemon game there <laughs> and the current Pokemon Love game. Pokemon, man. I need to start collecting the cards, man. Have you got yeah, any Pokemon cards? I've got the cards. I've got, I've got, I've got the ancient Mew. Oh my oh, days. But I just oh, want to say, days. I completed my Pokedex in Pokemon Shield. Right, carry on. Oh my days, are you serious? <laughs> All the That's shinies mad. as well. Um, so yeah, my mind has a, had a deficit in uh, yeah. entertainment and being stimulated. So I started to uh, make comic books, Bengali comic books, Slow because down. I had a Bangla mashtor and um, basically- well, you actually, wait, you could actually draw. I, yeah, I still you got- drawing? I'm decent at drawing still, yeah. Bro, one of my dreams right, is to- I need to see these after. Yeah, yeah, for real, man, for real. Um, but yeah, so uh, when I was making these comic books, I started yeah. coming up with, they're basically it's storyboarding, mm. early storyboarding yeah, as yeah, an 11 year old yeah. child. So then um, that's basically what it was. And then for, as soon as I came back to the UK in year eight, um, you know, like f I went through school like any other kid. And then, you know, I just kind of tried to suppress my creative side because obviously of the Bengali framework, you know, they wanted me to go uh, onto like a medical field. Mm, mm. But then, yeah, man, like when I got to college, I realized I don't even want to do medical. I'm like, man, I like engineering, but that's basically my tech side talking to me. I, yeah, I love yeah, tech yeah. and it, I love editing. I'm, I'm like a, I'm like yeah, a, you I'm and me I'm both, a, you bro, I'm a nerd when it comes to computers and it, you've seen that yourself. So yeah, um, yeah basically uh, at, at that point, like I just kind of, started to explore my creative side more when I basically got to the end of university because I joined the Bengali society and it somehow triggered that 11 year old mm. child, that creative child. Mm -hmm. uh, and then that's basically um, where this journey started. Yeah, so so what, like when you, you know, when you were doing YouTube, yeah, mm -hmm. do you, <clears throat> when you just doing it like for fun or did you have like a goal or you just like, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm just wing it and go along with it. Um, it was literally just, 
uh, a complete wing and I was just the same way like I try to make content still for myself first and foremost yeah, yeah, yeah. as a as an artist I feel I, like yeah, that's I, so important it's bro. so difficult sometimes yeah, though yeah. because you know like obviously you gotta make money you gotta like mm. do things you gotta do things like I'm learning all of this now but mm. it's like you know I definitely feel like with or, or whenever you create content you've got to try and bring it back to you wanting to enjoy it and do it for yourself once you do that then everything else kind of falls, falls into, into place, place. Oh, <laughs> you know, bro, bro, bro. bro you started early started you you early. were basically like directing stuff when you yeah. were like 17 18 bro. you've always been like a an actor you like. know what the, uh, so i actually went through my my archives yeah mm -hmm. and the first video i actually made that I can actually say that I filmed and edited mm. was on like a, you know them shitty like Nokia phones back in the day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like and I filmed, six yeah, that. I filmed That's two a sick of, phone. I filmed two of my cousins playing like doing football skills. Okay. And legit, I was watching it back and I was thinking, raw like I was I think I was like what? 14, 15? No way. Back then? Probably younger, bro. I'm probably, it was probably definitely younger because I remember going there as a kid. Mm. Like, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I edited them doing like football skills. They were throwing it on his back and spinning it around. Oh, sick. And I was editing on like, yeah. legitly doing it on like a Windows PC. Like, and Mad. I think that's when I just fell in love with it back then. I just never knew. Mm. And then obviously, then I, then I uh, struggled with my GCSEs. I only passed four. Mm -mm -mm. And then. Uh, You're a full-on creative. Yeah, That's what that says to me. I've had to do media studies. I, I discovered media studies by accident, mm. and then the rest is history, bro. And then the YouTube side. Of my Allah, life man. What was, a, bro? It's such a beautiful shit, organic uh, uh, gaming. Uh, I say, shout out to my socks. <laughs> shout, shout out to Nikita who got my got me these socks. <laughs> these socks, man. Nikita, I saw these socks. I was like, Couldn't oh my days, these are so cool. Um, but yeah, bro, <laughs> like YouTube. So I I went to uni and I discovered how competitive mm. this industry could be. I remember I remember looking out my window. And I saw Bear Mandem mm. sitting on a wall. Mm. And then following up from that, I met the boys from Mandem on the Wall. Mm -mm -mm. And I approached them and I said, look, I've got this idea about a bunch of Mandem on the Wall. Fast forward now and I'm like, okay, cool. So I can't exactly approach a, a TV company and all that stuff. Mm. So I put our films And those guys were YouTube. like Javon Wade. Yeah, Javon Wade, D. Cartier, uh, Percy, Ascot. Um, obviously there was like, things going on behind the scenes. Um, you know, and didn't work out for me and whatnot. But YouTube for me wasn't like me being, even now, I'm not, I would never say I'm a YouTuber. Because mm. I, I just can't be. Like, I can probably do a vlog and whatnot, but I just can't keep up with it. I'm a filmmaker. Yeah. And my films go on YouTube. That's yeah, yeah, I, 100%. I love the fact that you set up a podcast now because it's like, I feel Bro, like. This podcast, I feel like, is my way of expressing myself and talking to like minded people mm. on the same vibe. Yeah. And then getting to know your journey mm. and just flipping speaking because back in the day the only people i could collaborate with was other actors or other uh, mm. other people that could act now it's like i can bring anyone on this podcast and just mm. talk about industry you know for saying? sure man and, and, people it's, and it's interesting because the industry is so dynamic exactly. now like you've got the influencer side of things you've got the tiktok yeah, people bro. and there's so, so much YouTuber. to talk about there's yeah so much man to talk about. making content for yourself right so you mentioned that right I think first and foremost, like I was making corner shot for myself because mm -hmm. I enjoyed the storyline. I enjoyed like making it, editing, mm. filming, and then. Can I ask you one thing about corner shop, right? Yeah. Um, sorry, I'm turning into bro. I, I, you know, I'm a fan of corner shop, guys. <laughs> you know, like I'm, I'm the OG Dude. corner shop group, uh, crew. Like, um, you know, you get to play like the owner of the shop. Yeah. yeah. You know those kind of things. When you started creating it, obviously you're a young guy, and yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's like one of the reasons I like creating content is like when I play like certain characters, yeah, I'm yeah. like, oh cool, like I feel like this powerful uncle, like you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. did you play that as well to like build your confidence? Because that's an important part of an actor's journey, right? Yeah. How did you build your confidence? That's a bloody good question. Whose podcast is this, bro? <laughs> I want to know how you build your confidence because, bro, yeah, genuinely, right, so, a lot of Bengali struggle with confidence. I would say, right, so, there's a significant. No, no, you're, look, you're right, you're right. I mean, the first time I act, I've ever acted. On screen was yeah. in Mandaman Wall. Mm. In episode four, mm -hmm. I played an Australian uh, corner shop guy, mm -hmm. right? And that I remember of, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that so, Jordy character. Uh, yeah, so, is it Jordy? Do you call them Jordy? Aussie, yeah, Aussie. Aussies. Aussies. Yeah. That's it. Sorry. So that was my first experience. <laughs> <laughs> what call it Aussie? Man, Jordy. Man called it Aussie <laughs> Jordy. That was my first experience. Yeah, but then like uh, doing that kind of sparked. I, I guess corner shop is like a spin off of that in a weird way, yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Playing, the idea is solid, yeah, man. Yeah, but Boss man, that, isn't it? Yeah. The idea was just like, ah, right, everyone goes to a corner shop. Yeah. Um, you know, and his name's Malik. Malik in every South Asian language means boss, isn't it? Mm, like, the mm, manager. Mm. But I guess in a way, you're right because I thought uh, 
what kind of per- what kind of person would someone want to follow and watch and it's mm. got to be someone of um complication and like uh, pressure so he's he's running the business for his dad isn't it mm. and i turn turns out when they, when the series came out bare people were like bro this is relatable i'm in this situation too and i'm like raw mm, mm, you know what i'm mm. saying but i guess malik being that kind of alpha male guy mm. in the beginning um it did kind of boost my confidence it's a weird one i've never actually thought of it like that yeah man because for me uh, like, uh, like uh, shall i tell you how i built my confidence oh. uh basically like first i started playing because uh, your your confidence needs to be built from a place where you're like you're comfortable with people knowing how you really are mm. like that's where true confidence comes from yeah, being yeah, able yeah. to display your true truth yeah, yeah. like to people so for me like at first I, I um i started playing characters because obviously i felt shy with mm. like putting out my self out there like mm. type thing but i did try to like you know play like uh myself like you know on the wall like what am i going to do but yeah. i felt like that was a very high uh energy version of myself but i feel like that's what we will do everyone has a camera persona yeah 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 we're not like who like we're not who we are 100 percent. yeah because like, like for me i was like you know obviously seeing like liza koshi yeah, like yeah, yeah. uh lily singh like uh just rain mm. like even hamza mm. like you you know ali like all of you guys and i'm just like yeah man i, I want to do it this way but then like as you as i had done more stuff like for example then i did prank calls because at least i'm not playing a character but people can see me as me yeah, yeah, but i'm yeah. like improv in none of it's planned like yeah, with yeah, people yeah, so yeah, yeah. people get to see me a bit more and then i did street interviews where i'm like okay now i'm out in public yeah, yeah. like this is more me and then then i done the circle so which is like yeah, just yeah. me 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 you know like you, has you youtube was like your playground in it yeah basically that's yeah. what i and always say yeah it's a playground bro yeah. i'm just literally just having yeah, fun yeah, and yeah. just filming stuff trying stuff corner out corner shop corner shop was my playground to just mm. be a filmmaker and do some crazy shit like, yeah even like the skills you built with that yeah. like the logistics of organizing people 100 percent, so many skills you learned 100 percent, right? bro i've learned bro i've learned even the the negative side of things man so many people screwed me over during corner yeah shop. so many people like um promised one thing and didn't do or didn't deliver and i got let down bare times man and i've i learned so many life lessons from corner shop mm. like when i say like so you know you know the last scene in corner shop where the mm. shutters go down mm, 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 and then mm, it, go, mm. it goes dark that was kind of a, a nod to will smith and fresh prince at the yeah, same yeah, time. yeah 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 i seen but, that <clears throat> That scene, filming that scene was emotional for me. Yeah. yeah. Because it was it wasn't just saying goodbye to the series, it was saying goodbye to six years of my life that I learned Jeez. so much, that for I real, met so man. many people, that I uh, unmet so many people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. you know, so many stages in my life. From when I started, I was twenty two. Mm. Uh I turned twenty three when it came out and everything, and then I ended it when I was twenty whenever like you know six years 20, old. i can't yeah, do the maths bro. seven like, or something yeah, yeah i was like 27 yeah. 28 or something but something um, like that man. yeah probably was a lot to, to kind of take but yeah man bro corner shop was my playground i think youtube is the perfect place it's to, a like, fun place to discover yourself and yeah. how you want to be online mm. and There's one uh, thing different though i rate you for like is being uh, a youtuber you get to be yourself yeah yeah, yeah. Like, you get to portray a side of yourself whereas i always play characters i'm happy to pl- play a character and portray a story through that person because then, Cause I, then I feel like it's not arc, me bro you yeah. create arcs for your characters but then i feel like it's not me doing that it's just someone else do you know what i'm saying like malik wait, to wait, me, wait. Say that. Uh, i don't get that all right so malik yeah, yeah it's not me yeah of, yeah, yeah of course yeah anything that any uh storylines that i wrote for malik here mm. had nothing to do with me so when i played that character mm. Certain scenes that I would put Malik in, yeah. I wouldn't put myself in. Yeah, yeah, of like, course. I wouldn't do what Malik because did. He's it's not... a bit messed up here. Yeah. But I wouldn't do what Malik did or the way Malik reacted or the way Malik handled a, a situation. Like, it, that wouldn't be me in mm, real life. Mm, 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 but mm. playing that character allowed me to uh, experiment on that situation. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Mm, and with mm, every mm, character mm. I've ever played, I always do something different. And, I'm, and it's so weird. I psychologically turn that character off when I'm done with it. And I'll go back to me. And me, if you know me personally, yeah, I'm very reserved. I'm yeah, very you reserved. are. I'm, yeah, very, I'm, actually, I'm actually quite quiet. Um, if I'm comfortable around certain people, then I'll, you know, I banter and that. But yeah, man, it's, acting is another. Bro, that's another conversation. Yeah, man. man. Now I'm working in marketing, right? Yeah. yeah. But um, basically, like even like the transferable skills you get from it, your confidence, you're mm. able to pitch, your, you know, like it's just a really good like skill to have and i feel like if our community like realize that more like bruv Mm. like why not take up an improv class why not take up an acting class Mm. you don't have to become an actor just experience it have it for fun do you know what i'm saying like how much does it really cost to do improv classes i done some that were like literally um 80 pound for like eight weeks of lessons i'm Mm. like bruv 10 pound like a lesson bro that's chilling like you must get something out of it bro 
on a level everyone acts they just don't know it like when you go to a job that you don't like you're acting in front of the customer that's true though life is the life is your life is a film as well like stay, whatever the like. flipping saying is bro i brought you on mm -hmm. to the halalians yes yeah so uh so for anyone that doesn't know halalians is a skit group that i started to uh cover cover it, like controversial or taboo topics in the muslim community that's a much better way to put that's it a, that's a more corporate way of saying it i don't know what he was chatting about so i started a group called the halalians um and that's when i actually got to see you play I, I was actually impressed of your acting when I got you on board because Thanks, you were man. actually I playing. I had no idea what I was doing. Yeah, you were actually playing like, a different. God, on this truth, like yeah, I had, you know, I literally turned up on the day. I'm like, I'm used, I'm used to just doing this stuff in my bedroom. There's yeah, so yeah, many yeah, people yeah. now. Okay, all right, hello, my Because you know, you know, like, you, know, you, know your, me, like, you know your YouTube characters, yeah. They're like OTT, oh, you know? and then when you played the Halalian character, it was. It still like, OTT It was still OTT, but it was dialed down a notch. Yeah, it was like it was more me. Different man, but bro, like I enjoyed like shooting with you, man. Thank like, you, man. I always try to be, you know, respectful on set, try and yeah, help yeah. learn where I can. Um, also, like, you know, just like try and be helpful, man. And yeah, yeah just make sure if anyone's going through anything, just try and be there as yeah, well, man. Yeah. There's so many dynamics, bro. You know, I when, think, you, when you, you form a group, like an actual, yeah, yeah, yeah. like a uh, group of people that you're collaborating with. It's mad, like, so like, we haven't actually spoke about Halalians, right? And so many people have so many questions, right? Yeah. So the group consisted of Me, myself. Me, you. You. Modestry, Nazir uh, Khatun, Inayat Kanji, and uh, Live Like Wes. Wes, yeah. And then Snatchy came on board after. Yeah. Um, so the group started off, we started off like a tight little group and we we're posting on the same page and uh, people were really invested. Bro, people actually thought we lived in the same house. That's how mad it was. Really? I had people asking me like, oh, you live in the same house? I don't know. We just meet up there to do what skits. What the hell? Um, and I, my I intention... can't imagine living in the same house as Nazi or man. We're gonna be like, like <laughs> seven a.m. Ding ding yeah. ding ding. Come on, guys, push ups. Come on, get in the mood. Like I'm like, fam, you know she was making me do press ups. Like remember that yeah, time when we were doing like uh, sit ups and that. Well, she'd be oh, waking up at like, six a.m. Yeah, making them smoothies and that. Like, yeah, yeah. Tell us to eat healthy. Like, yeah. I could do it, but it's just like, man, I don't know, man. We're sending we're sending for Nazi on the podcast as well. Yeah, I know, man. Nah, we need to get her on as well. Fast forward that. All right, so fast forward. Uh, shit happened in the group and then the group kind of dismantled yeah one by one um and then i think like everyone just got hit with random stuff at yeah that time i think everyone well. got hit with a wave like, of negativity do you know what i mean like then... even like uh there was just so much going on in each everyone's life like mm. everyone had some different we did we did and i think that they got i hit think with. uh for we... me do you know what, can i say what happened to me yeah, go on, go Basically, go on. like, with my situation is, uh, I was discovering the reality of the industry in it. Mm -hmm. Like, there were certain, it's just a weird, like, space to be in. And the thing I realized is there's a very, uh, like, difficult space to navigate mm. because everyone is essentially an actor as well. They all have skills. Mm. And it's like, in a workplace, for example, you have like, uh, before I was working in the corporate industry, like I was working at Jaguar Land Rover, like that's a corporate environment, 40,000 employees. Like it's mm. a very like particular type of job. Um, but it's like, even there, like you've got people that try to, like I had one manager, yeah, <laughs> like bro, literally he just used to do nothing all day, but everyone thought he was sick, like, because I was doing all the work. So mm. it's like, you know, it, 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 there's mad dynamics, but with this industry, like basically, I I got distanced. Like I distanced myself from you because like mm, no, let's I, talk about it. Yeah. So I mm. basically people were trying to block my mentality of wanting to work with you mm. with different things, you know, like stuff. So then and it's like certain opportunities were presented to me and they were like, if you want to do this, you can't do that. So people uh without naming names, people stopped you yeah. from working with me. Yeah in halalian yeah because and wallahi like this is the god's yeah. honest truth no, 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 like, on, i swear carry on, carry on. i swear by allah and that's the thing man like the thing is like bro like this is the dunya like you're, we're all on our journeys the same way like mm. i still bring it back down straight to deen mm. like we're all being tested in different ways and mm. um you know like in 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 whatever you whatever field you dedicate your your life to it's a big part of your life man you're, mm. you're, you're spending time with people like if you don't spend your time on allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mm. uh, and you're not spending it with your family and you want to spend it with other people like man you gotta make sure it's a damn good reason and you're trying to uh, work with good people but it's just mm. a mad space to mm. navigate man but yeah uh you know like uh, uh, when i came and spoke to you it was good to like be able to 
you know speak uh and uh tell you like you know exactly like what my dynamics are and stuff like mm. that um but it was just the thing with me bro I, I, you noticed this very early on i'm very naive like mm. i'm very naive I, I when i came into the industry i was a uni student i was like just you know like working in a corporate environment this was a hobby for me mm. never expected it expected it to go any, anywhere well, bro, you know what? and one, then it's just like yeah man one thing it. i rate about you though yeah is I know this is going to make me sound like belled. You remind me of a young me. <laughs> you remind me of a young you me. You do where... p- play big role on me uh, uh, frequently. I, t- I try you not do. to, man. Yeah. But like, bro, you remind me of a time, yeah, when I thought everyone in the world had a good heart like mine. Yeah. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not saying I'm perfect, yeah. I've made many mistakes in my life. Same. Um, I if, say the same. Bro, if there's Sorry, anyone I'm out there that I've upset and I've hurt, then, I'm, you know, apologies. Well, like he's saying as well. Allah, like, take me to account for what I've done. If anyone gets, like, hurt by anything we say on this podcast at any point, please forgive us. No, but, but we like, want to be truthful and we want to, like, be, like, make sure that we're able to talk th- about things in an open way to make sure that people can benefit their mm. lives and progress. I love that disclaimer right there. Yeah. I love that disclaimer. But like you, when I was younger, especially in the industry, I used to think, um, you know, people would have a good heart and stuff like that. But bro, like this industry is just full of sharks. It's, it's mad. full of sharks, it's mad. Bro. and it's sad. and the thing is, you don't know. Like and you don't, example, yeah. yeah. And, and you know, you, and sometimes it comes to the point. Like I've been in this game for let's say ten years now. Yeah, a lot longer than. Um, I sometimes I think, okay, cool, I've sussed it out, and I know what it is, and it can be a, it can be a dark and difficult place and then sometimes i meet people yeah or i know i thought i knew them yeah and turns out like raw okay so you're like that actually so that's that's your true colors and it's Mm. like all right cool and then dealing with that in your own way is another stage of it you know what i'm saying 100 percent mentally because it is a form of trauma man and it needs to be like addressed within your own internal framework with Mm. whatever coping mechanisms you have and people have different vices and they lash out in different ways to deal with like uh, different like uh, traumatic experiences. Like, oh. Sometimes I think about that afterwards. I'm like, Yo, Allah, like I went to this thing. I, I did uh, like I went to this event. I had uh, you know them kind mm. of things. Like you have to address everything in terms. Oh, and I think boiling it back down to what you say, like everything is about Dean. The way I see this industry, yeah, is uh yeah it's a it's tough important. one it's the foundation it's, right it's, it's a tough it's like one, yeah. once you build stuff off that like bro alhamdulillah like good things happen yeah but bro like you just have to remember like this this industry yeah it can be tough um it's got a, it's got a stereotype attached to it where um oh you're not gonna make it or not everyone does or it's too hard or um like we're just saying like it's full of sharks and people screw you over which is true yeah which is true but end of the day i approach this industry as a muslim mm. because Whatever movie do I get, whatever TV do I get, whatever influencer job I get, that didn't just come from the industry. That came from Allah first, didn't it? Mm, mm, Allah mm. let that brand manager wake up in the morning to mm. give me that email, to give me that job. Mm. Allah let my agent wake up to give me that acting job. Allah let me wake up for me to carry on doing like this podcast. You know what I'm for saying? real, man. Everything comes from him, do you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I treat the industry... Uh, Carefully, not I I'm not naive at the same time, but I treat the industry in the same way that I would treat other people, and that is as a Muslim. Yeah, being truthful, just uh, you know, and uh, just approaching it in that in that manner. Yeah, you know what I'm saying for me, like I, that's the thing. Like our approaches are different, man, and I mm-hmm. and you know what? Like um, I I wish I had that rationale side uh, that that rational side uh, to me a mm-hmm. bit more sometimes because i do feel like I, j- I just jump in with an overwhelming amount of love i'll mm-hmm. be honest like i, I completely, and it's that bro and that's what i mean that, and like, that's the thing I, like people take advantage of yeah. it bro. and i'm like but i was doing good i, I, I wanted to support but this is when i'm can, saying like, this is when it can that's where this it, is when i'm it just like with you but yeah? i wanted to this is when it can fuck <laughs> you know what i'm saying because like you're like boy i was so good to you how could you do that to me? Like, I don't yeah. understand. Like, or like, you, bro, bro, you just, it, doesn't, bro it doesn't fathom. You were my inspiration. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, you're my inspiration. I, I started because you, like, yeah, and it's, it's, what the hell, bro? Bro, that's you know what, what I'm saying? saying. You remind me of me when I was younger and I, I would expect that from everyone, like the same way I was uh, being good to other people, right? Um, and, um, but now it's like, I have to be that guy where it's like, when I meet people, in the industry and mm. i have to ask 
questions in my mind like mm. oh, are you genuine or why you why do you want to meet me or and you know what the thing is me? the sad thing is right so alhamdulillah like obviously like from uh the circle like i'm getting good work now i'm working mm. with people that aren't really necessarily from the bengali scene like you know uh, outside of the industry and stuff like that and bro mm. they treat me so good bro they different in it yeah different. like uh, like a uh, i get good paid work alhamdulillah like bro i, pr- I made a dua for all of this by the way guys like genuinely mm-hmm. like uh, if you guys watched my dawa series on my channel you'll see like how much of a internal like like religious like uh experience i went through during mm-hmm. that ramadan that first lockdown ramadan and how i tried to manifest so you're saying ramadan right and wonder woman just appeared on the screen <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys That's how you know that like, Illuminati are just listening on she's everything She's got a sword and she's not looking Literally, happy Literally yeah Just oh, reminding shit. us Yeah about Israel uh, like, you, like for those of you who don't know I'm a big superhero fan So like all the slides You've probably seen it Like DC and Marvel but, yeah, Carry on bro sorry But yeah like for example um, Just cover her up like, Ramadan <laughs> Ramadan Let's talk about Ramadan <laughs> Alright Alright Those people um, yeah. Like they, they, they're Treating me in a good way And I'm like you know when sometimes people treat you good in this industry now, mm-hmm. it's like confusing. It's like, wait, oh, are nice you genuine? Yeah, it's like, like are, what? You, are you being what? nice to me for real? You're giving this to me? Yeah, really? Like, and it's just like, sometimes you, like, yeah, it does. It's oh, like, does I hate having you, that reaction though. It when, does fuck with you because like, now it's like, I don't know if someone's being nice to me or they're just being nice to me because they want something or, yeah. you know what? Let's, why is Wonder Woman just keep coming back? <laughs> or like, you know, it's cool, it's cool, leave her, leave her. <laughs> But like, sometimes I'm like, <laughs> leave her, leave her, leave her, bro. <laughs> leave her, bro. Not like, 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 she's not worth it. Hold me back. <laughs> Wonder Woman. <laughs> Fucking like um sometimes it's like yeah, so it's like you're talking to someone yeah. on in the industry and it's like, do you want something out of me? Do yeah, you not? Yeah, Are you yeah, genuinely yeah, being yeah, nice? Yeah, yeah. Or it's like so now it's come to a point, yeah, bro, like I'm so straight up, I'm like, ah right, cool, is this a business transaction? Because I'll treat it that way and I don't mind. Trust me, I'm like that as well. I'm like, like I'm like it is. I'm like, once I see the mm, then I'm gonna give you the time. Do you know what I'm saying? Because it's yeah. like, bro, like at least then there's some commitment there and you know, like, and a contract, you know, you can formalize uh, like particular deliverables yeah. or whatever you want to. And it's like, okay, cool. We're definitely well, same committing time, to yeah. this. Like, but then be, that like sometimes takes away real, from yeah. the organic yeah. relationship. I feel like it's ruined me as a person mm. because I have to then treat people so differently than how, to how i actually feel in yeah here. because i want to still go in with yeah, that love i want to go in with love yeah but then bro i get i've got i've been screwed over so many times where it's like bro, I, just, I just don't know anymore it's like mm. the problem is some people will just chat shit yeah so like, obviously some people no reason shit. on people some people well. will chat shit but like I'm just saying for those Just because they want to like I don't know Benefit off their clout yeah, Or yeah, something yeah, like yeah. that That's the mad thing That's the yeah, yeah. problem With the space I've heard it in. so many times You don't like know some, what's true and what's saying, not. Oh. How, how, do, how does anyone know What we're saying is true mm-hmm. You don't But it's just like You have to try And like literally Try and feel that person's energy mm-hmm. And once When it is real Like if you can get an idea And you can identify real Then you're gonna win Yeah it? it's true And it's hard Like it's like a it's But like it's, a that, it's building up that skill man Bro it's like and Nowadays I have Exposing a, yourself to the industry I have a radar yeah mm. Where I'm like Alright this person's cool That person's not but Some people just slip under that radar Because so mm. they're, su- they're such good actors And then somehow They just manage to screw me over mm. But it's like I can't help it man I'm just I don't want to let people's bad character affect yeah. my good character. Even in coronavirus, yeah, bad bro. people like that, bro. bro. Because I was disconnected with a lot of people during um, I this think, pandemic. I uh, think, yeah, the circle, yeah. Mm. All right, so you disappeared mm. for like. Uh, don't know what. Fuck knows how long, yeah. <laughs> and I noticed, I'm like, this guy, he's not posting. This guy's not messaging me anymore. This guy, like, he's gone ghost. I'm like, where is he? So then I called up Mazzy and I was like, bro, I think something's happened to Smash. And then Mazzy was like, <laughs> Big up Mazzy Cozzy. Mazzy was like, but yeah, nah, you've bro, always like, been blessed don't worry, me. man. Like he's 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 doing he's doing work. I'm like, what work? Now nah, he's doing work, man. He's busy, he's busy. I'm looking. I'm up. gonna do, bro. He, he's, he's doing work, Kaj. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's doing work, Kaj. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> then he said he's then he said he's looking after your family. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah he huh? was though. He was now nah, genuinely then, like he I checked go, bro, in. Bro, do you he know checked how in how on my family, bro. This is how certy this guy is. He checked in on my family. Mazzy is a certy guy, no doubt. But yeah. do you know how confused that makes me? I'm like, wait, hold on. Why is he taking care of your Mazzie's family? Mazzy's looking after your family, but he's in he's in London. Your family's in Berms, yeah? How is that happening? Like, and I've met your mum, in it, And I'm like... That, he literally called my sister and he was like, uh, sheesh, I got people in Birmingham posted. Yeah, if you, if you need buzzer or anything like that. Oh, my sister's calling me right now. Oh, oh speak, my God, she's got a lumbar hurt, man. Yo, you okay, Afa? Afa, I'm just recording the podcast. 
Okay, okay, go for it, go for it, go for it, go for it. Get mom. Yeah, Slam come on, mom. Okay, ni mom. I'm Islam dog. I was, I was in a o kita tara andar ro ki Islam dog. Oh, oh, as I move, I'm mom. Shesh kori limo, arthar for as I move, I'm mom. Hey, Salam, this is your mother. Salam, come on. Acham. Man got. Yeah. Otto ammo. Beshi duroi na ammo. Beshi duroi na ammo. Fast dosh minute o mana. Fast fast dosh minute. Acha acha. Acha ma. Sinta koriyo na ammo. Acha ma. Assalamu alaikum. Acha. Love you ammo. Acha ma. Okay bye. Is it weird if I say I love her too? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, bro, you know what it is, yeah. Like, right, wait, mom, you yeah. just confuse everybody. Yeah. Right. Smash's mom has my my boxes at her house. I don't know where they are now. You just said it in the most weird. Basically, way, yeah. he was on tour. For I was the on Muslim tour. Pantomime. I asked he him. He forgot. Uh, like, basically, he needed to, uh, somewhere to wash his clothes. I was like, bro, yeah, man, don't worry. I'll just put it on with my stuff in it. Yeah. Then like one under got left behind, and yeah. we just it's, yeah. I just, just remember your mom calling and say, yo, let me speak to him, and I was like. <laughs> Hey, tu tu under ni salah lagi lagi. You left your under. You left your under, bro. Your parents, mashallah, have been supportive, like from day one, innit? Well, there's been obviously it's been a obviously there's like there's been a development, bro. But let's let's say I'm saying there's been difficult times as well. Let's let's say the surface level of support, right? Hundred percent. Okay, so it's the opposite for me. Yeah, it's the opposite for me. So my mom, she was, she was supportive of me as were they obstructive? Were they obstruct? Because there's there's being non-supportive and there's being obstructive, right? They there's were. three levels. You've got support. You got uh, you know non-supportive. You're just neutral. Mm. You don't like stop them from doing it, but then there's stopping you from doing they, it. Did they so ever my mum wasn't really, obstructive, right? My mum okay. was just like uh, she wasn't supportive. Mm -hmm. She was just confused. She was like, you know, are you sure you want to do this? Like, you know, this could happen. Blah blah blah. She she wouldn't really. She'd be scared in it. At the yeah. End of the day, I'm her baby, and I understand that. Um, but there was like. The support I needed mm -hmm. to probably get me further, mm -hmm. I didn't get. Mm. So mentally, my journey for you, like what, what like, qu is there any way you can quantify that, like in terms of detail, like what specifically would it be, like right, so, the, like them looking for an acting course and then being like, why don't you apply for this? Is that too much of an ask, or is it just like? Go do your thing. Here's some money. Like, here, let me buy this. You know what? Oh, I didn't get. I didn't get anything. I didn't. Mm. I, I'd come home and be so excited and be like, "Oh, mama had a, a BBC radio interview," and she'd be mm. like, oh, "Cool, bye, Like, yeah, just, uh, because beauty. that's what matters. And it's like, them, and I used to tell it's myself, like, you know what? That's just keeping me grounded. Yeah, but yeah, then, yeah, yeah. Then it yeah, came yeah, to yeah. a point. Where like, was, you just heard my mom's phone call. Yeah, yeah, how she yeah, is? Yeah, She's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'm feeling. That's calm. It keeps keeps you grounded, yeah. But then there was points. There was moments where I just wanted like someone to say, "Well done," or like. I'm so proud of you. All that. Not that she goes a long way, man. But you know what? I think Bengali parents, old school as they are, they're proud, but they're only proud in here. Yeah. And they don't say it out loud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the that's the problem. That's the problem because when your kids, they give it though. When they're kids, when your kids, yeah, isla zebala, marfa When you're old and you need it, yeah, they they know they don't want to give it. They're like, they're like, why are you still here? Why aren't you married? Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? That's what they come down to. Because this is the thing, like, um, you know, with Bengali parents, right? If you look at it culturally. Uh, at our nanas and nannies and dadas and daddies, yeah, yeah. the way they treated our parents' generation, that's the mentality yeah, that they yeah, have, yeah. right? So, so they, how did they treat them? At 18 or mm. 19 or 20 or 21, you're basically married off. Mm. The way our generation differs is the way the UK is set up mm. as an institution, as a, you know, a cla like a, an environment. You're not really like fully adult or independent until you've been to university. That adds three years, you know, or like you've done like an apprenticeship or you've done some kind of development course or something like that. You're, mm -hmm. you're into your 20s. By the time you're finding a partner and all that kind of stuff, you know, you're looking like later into your 20s anyway. So with Bengali parents, they, they're like expecting you to get married young. Their parenting sometimes stops at like 18. They're like, they know how to deal with children until they're 18. Once they're married, they're gone off. Mm -hmm. They're like, Wait, but then you end up with children that are like, you know, well, they're not children, they're adults, bro. But yeah, like, yeah, yeah. for example, me, I'm 29, bro. I'm still living at my parents' house. You know, you, you see like Bengali brothers that are unmarried. They're like going close to like, you know, 40s, even more, man. Mm. A lot of unmarried people like with their parents in our generation. And it's like, it's, it's different. Did you just see a mosha? Yeah, I just killed a fly. Shit. <laughs> I just killed a fly live on camera. Oh, man. <laughs>
all the, all the, the way you came out like a sniper, bro. That was like a Mr. Miyagi moment. Yeah, I yeah. The, 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 the For real. But, but I, so, like, with parents, right? So my mom, um, she, when I needed those moments of support, mm. she wouldn't give it. Like, I remember, I, I remember one e day. Mm-hmm. I, I had a live, uh, was, was a pre-recorded uh, interview mm-hmm. on TV. So I was with my family on e day. My brothers were there, everyone was there. Right? I turned it on thinking, you know what, let me just turn it on and see if everyone watch it on e day. Everyone's celebrating, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Turned it on, bruv. My brother started hoovering. Oh. And then, like, hoovering over. There was flipping hoovers loud, and he started hoovering. And then I'm calling my mum, like, Mum, I'm on TV. She comes in, she sees it, she goes, oh, Okay, cool. Then she goes, All right, let's go to your nan's. And I was just like, Is, Does no one actually see, like, what, what, you're, you're, doing. what you're doing yeah, to me, like, yeah, up here? Yeah. It's and then, bruv, man. on that e day, I got up, I walked out the house, and I left. And I, was, yeah. I stayed in my room the whole e day. So there was moments like that where I needed to bro, just like to I, even back. I didn't know this man. I yeah, appreciate yeah, you opening up about that. Man. I needed those moments of just like, oh, well done, son. Like, well done, yeah. you did, bro. It goes but a long way, man. It goes a long way, like, but you know, I, 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 I persevered. I stayed. I just, I just kept making excuses for them. Excuses for them. I'm like, you know, it is what it is. I have to support myself. Mm. You know what I mean, I think that's what got me to where I am now. Mm. But now, Alhamdulillah, like, uh, you know, there's. I think because she knows I've, I'm grown man. Like, mm. You know, I'm doing my thing now. She goes, alright, cool. So it's like. There's, I've never had that cut, that sentence where I've said to her, Mom, I want to be an actor. It's yeah. just one of them was like, he's just doing what he's doing. Yeah, so yeah, now yeah, she just yeah. calls me, it's like, yeah, are you okay? Like, it's you mad, know. man. Like, money speaks Money a speaks. Lot. Yeah. Uh, money speaks money a lot, speaks. man. Do you know what money I mean? Speaks. Like, uh, in, But now uh, I think I think it's just come to a point where they've accepted it and they know. So they just ask me here and there, oh, what are you doing? Or oh, what are you doing? But I just have a habit of, like, I was on an ITV set shooting a, a drama series, right? And mm. then she called me and she messaged me and then I was just like, she, she asked me what, what are you doing I was like mm. I'm at work mm-hmm. so I've just got a habit of not saying anything cause, yeah, because yeah, I, just, yeah, yeah. I don't, I've got that insecurity of not wanting to be disappointed yeah 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 that's yeah, why yeah. I just end up saying oh, just yeah work. man I mean so, like you know this is a thing though it's like you've got to dig deeper it forces you to dig deeper because it's yeah, like yeah. you're I think as human beings sometimes we do undergo like the need for approval the need for like to be surrounded by the maddest thing about the circle right was I keep saying let's talk about the circle. Yeah. Right, let's right, let's talk about the circle. Well, basically right. what I was going to say on that yeah is like literally the maddest thing uh, uh is when you don't have a mobile phone on it. Yeah, yeah. So you're basically you don't have a mobile phone the entire time, right? And you're just alone, right? In the entire apartment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't see people. You don't have contact with the outside world. Uh, like I can't pick up the phone speak to you I can't speak to my family yeah, yeah. I, I have an idea of what's going on with them because the uh, producers update me yeah, yeah. but it's like I don't get to like actually call or speak to anyone mm. so when you're alone that's the first time I was like an adult and number one I haven't had like my phone like last time I remember being like that was year eight bro mm. and um yeah like you you, you d- have to dig deeper and discover yourself but it's like, if you can be comfortable with being alone, then it takes away your need to want to be accepted by people. Mm. Once you find peace within yourself with who you are. And then that way, for example, when my parents now, they just like neither here or there, like even the Marvel thing that I attended today, like they don't really care about that. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like they don't get it. So it's like, but they're like, okay, cool. I, I was like, I went to see a movie. I, I done this like red mm. carpet. My mom literally earlier, she's like, Okay, cool. But yeah, yeah, literally, <laughs> so, like, literally, I still have the response. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mom, I just won the award for best actor Oscar nominee. <laughs> okay, but <laughs> that's, that's what's going to happen to me, bro. Yeah, 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 me, yeah. So, yeah, yeah man. But um, right, so yeah, right, but you, you, uh, bro, I think you're. Alhamdulillah, I'm so happy for you. Inshallah, may it continue. Um, you know what I'm saying? Bro, I mean, I mean, man. But bro, like, so the circle. <laughs> let's talk about the circle. I'm gonna edit it so like your response is gone. Alright, so let's talk about the circle. Yeah, bro, bro, you were the first. Bangladeshi yeah. yeah that I maybe I'm wrong I don't know but to me you're the first British Bangladeshi on a reality TV show right I didn't think of it like that still I thought yeah. you were going to say on the circle I was like right, yeah on the circle. <laughs> um, but yeah that's true I, is, has bro, there like, been a British Bangladeshi I don't, I don't know, know in it, but I don't I'm, watch I'm, reality I'm making TV these like facts that up myself, bro genuinely yeah. wallahi even though I went on a reality, reality TV show I don't really watch reality TV yeah, show yeah like bro that. I don't watch the, reality la- the only one I watch is The Apprentice I love that yeah, yeah Apprentice is probably the only one I watch I love that but like bro like all right, so the, the circle called me mm. to be on it on season, in season one. Season one, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, when they described it to me, I mm. was like, I just don't understand. Like, I was like, nah, this feels like a bit like Big Brother, and like, I wasn't ready for that kind of reality TV exposure. Right? Mm. Like, acting is what I do. The thing is, you're an actor. Like, yeah, yeah, it's not really like something bro, you like, want to do, right? You you jumped on it, yeah. Bro, you did sick. Like, <laughs> the way you the way you patterned it, yeah, was like. 
No, it's like watching you on YouTube. Yeah, you no, I love, bro. That was like a playground for me, that bro, entire apartment. Like first, sick, first, of all, first of all, congratulations. Love, yeah. bro. Second of all, like, bro, how do you feel, bro? Like, being bro, a Bengali, British Bengali on TV, like, that you had a bod nine in the background, <laughs> you had your Zaino out. Yeah, man, Alhamdulillah, I was praying every day not to get blocked, bro. bro you know what I'm saying? Like, like, um, but talk, talk me through the experience. Obviously, you just talked about the, yeah, the phone, um, no phone thing. What honestly, about? like, it's it's difficult to, to even, like, comprehend and put it into words because it's such a, a crazy experience. And I feel like the only people that truly get it are the other contestants because mm. they've been through yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. a similar... I guess that's why you lot are solid, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah We're yeah. tight. So, but the thing is like, um, if I can describe it in any kind of way is um, you I, after a while, you don't realise you're being filmed. It's like you're going through... It's like almost like a, a course or a school like you're, you're having fun you're filming but then you're going about your day like you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. and it's just like it's like an experience it's like it's like going into like an escape room like but just coming out like way like three weeks later they've sent you food and all you know what I'm saying like you order food. I don't know where to start bro you you like it's they, like you were on like witness protection it was bro. mad it was uh, it's like going to a pen but it's like a fun pen you get me like yeah. I had a really great experience though because like so, some of the people like for example they were like you know tripping out like you know they're like oh nah like this is mad i can't take not being away from all this kind of stuff everyone dealt with different yeah, internal issues but for me um i really enjoyed like for example just dis uh, discovering my creativity mm. by for example i was playing guitar a lot i was like beatboxing a lot just to like entertain myself i was drawing a lot i was painting a lot i was like doing all kinds of just fun create every day was just doing creative stuff i have no contact with the outside world don't have to worry about like money i was really not good on money at the time as mm. well bro literally i i probably um had so okay ended 2020 with 150 pound in my bank account wow yeah <laughs> what lie i have wow. a video i can probably dig it out and you can show yeah, it yeah, yeah. right around that much then like while i was on the show i didn't have to worry about all of that kind of stuff and then they obviously like ask you what food you want. They order you halal, like meat as well. Like they're so considerate. Um, and then if you want fresh air, you can't go outside. They take you to the rooftop and then you just get air there. But you got a nice city view. You can yeah, yeah. sit there, meditate. You can read Namaz. I read Namaz there one time okay. with the city view and the air. Like it was beautiful, bro. Alhamdulillah. Like it was one of the most beautiful and uh, fruitful experiences of my life. Like genuinely, I, I feel like that. Bro, I think that's a good place to end this, bro. Because oh man, thank you, bro. Bro, bro I, I'm not gonna lie, like you, you, I remember you telling me that you used to watch Corner Shop on your TV screen, yeah. Bro. Yeah, with my sister. Yeah, you telling me that, and you're, you're telling me that inspired, bro. I'm inspired by you, G. Ah, oh, appreciate it, man. Come on, man. And that's how it should be between creators. Nah, you man, don't. It, it just because someone has less numbers, you look at them a particular way. No, just because someone's popping, you look at them a, mm. a particular way. No, someone's hype might be hyped today. They might be dead tomorrow. Like it, it, it physically or uh, online. However, we don't, we can't even take tomorrow for granted. But it's like you just have to treat people with love, respect, and hope. You know, I always live with, with the hope that um, you know we can uh, all benefit each other, like in good ways, man. And for us to not cheat each other, we take the foundations Inshallah, of Islam bro. in what we want to do. Like I feel like Muslims can con uh, contribute to the creative industry so much with mm. our like ideologies, our frameworks and everything like that. Mm. And you know, let's just make sure like we try to do good in our life. That's mm. it, man. That's all it is, bro. Doing good in your life and then your life is obviously your work as well, your family and just doing good in both. both yeah, ways, man. <laughs> Fam? Alhamdulillah, bro. Thank you so much. Bro, Inshallah, the first sick, of many, man. Bro, this has been a sick chat. I feel like we need a part two or something. Yeah, yeah man. For real, man. 100%. 100%. We got this, like, brotherly green Bangladesh thing. Isn't it? To green. be fair, I just thought Smash Bengali's coming to my house. I need to dress up <laughs> Bengali. I should just wear a longi and just... Do you know... Can you read that? Yeah, a key cardboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sick, sick, yeah, sick, done, sick, done, sick, done. sick. Come on. Love. There you go, man. That's a wrap. Peace. Yeah, bro. That was sick. That was sick, man. That was sick. We were like... Love, we were digressing. That was like one of the most natural bro, I feel organic like we definitely, conversations we need a part two because there's so much it was one about. of the most easiest pieces yeah, of content yeah, yeah. i've ever filmed bro we just need to i feel like we need to keep talking and just doing more shit yeah man you know for I'm real saying? oh that's sick <laughs> 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 <laughs>